Welcome back to YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. Now this is part two of my previous video of how to update the PlayStation 4 manually to 7.50. So we're going to head over to playstation.com and we're going to download the update and stick it on a USB storage device like that. And then we're going to transfer the data over to the PS4. So at the moment I've booted into safe mode. On the previous video I showed you how to get into safe mode. Let's just go over to PlayStation now. It says on the screen here when you select option three is connect a USB storage device that contains an updated file version for 7.50 or later. You can download the update file from PlayStation.com. So let's head over to PlayStation now. We're on PlayStation and you're going to go to help. As soon as you click help, you'll go to system software. You're going to hit that. And then it'll give you three options. You've got the PS4, PS3, and also the PS Vita. You're going to hit the PS4. And then you're going to hit this side here, download PS4 update file. If your PS4 cannot automatically update, try re-downloading the file. If that fails, transfer the file below onto a USB drive and install your PS4 following the installation guide. So we're going to go to the PS4 software update file and that is going to download to my PC. Now on your USB storage device, as soon as that's downloaded, stick that into one of your spare USB ports. And make sure you've formatted your, your memory stick. Also make sure the file format is FAT32. And then create a new folder and name it PS4 the video there because I thought I'd show you how to set up your memory stick like Sony recommends. Make sure it's formatted in FAT32. Uh, make sure there's 470 megabyte available on it. Name a file, make a new folder and name it PS4. And inside that folder you're going to open it up and make another folder saying update. Now in this folder here is where you're going to transfer the PlayStation update to. So if your PC has just downloaded it, it will be in your downloaded files. So you'll get go to your downloads and then transfer, just drag and drop it into this update file. If you're on the PlayStation site and it asks you where you'd like to save it to, remember to put it in this update file. So PS4 file, make a new folder name it update and it's in this folder here if i click it again you'll see that's the update file there so now i've got all the ps4 data on my memory stick i'm going to insert the memory stick into the ps4 press update from usb storage device press ok and the following version of the system software is available press next and then it will copy the updated file from your storage device like I said, it's about 472 megabytes, so it just won't take that long. I'm going to hit the PlayStation button. And we'll just go up to notifications. There was no errors in there. We'll jump into Fortnite. You can see it's still connected to the internet. That means the update is now applied because it would say can't connect to the internet if you had any errors updating it that way. So that's how you update your PlayStation 4 to 7.50 manually. Any problems, drop them in the comment box below and uh, please leave the video a like, subscribe and I'll get back to you with another video. Thanks for watching.